welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Talk Like This. She got it like that. I am your host, Trey the Barber. And it's your other host, yeah. Dice the Barber. And like today that. in the building, we got my man, Mitch Gibson, a.k.a. Like Rush Money Mitch, man. What's good with it, baby? Hey, what's you hear the music y'all? in the background, goddamn yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's his music right there, man. We're going we gonna to get into that song in a minute right now. We're going to uh, let you introduce yourself to the people. Oh, actually, before we do that, um, just to let you know, we always start our show off by saying thank you to the Lord for waking us up this morning. Thank you for letting us make it through another week, yes, allowing us amen. to do what we do and, and keep yes. our blessings rolling, man. So, amen yes. on that. All right. Now, also, too, when we start our show off, Love we also Lord. start our show off with a shot. All right. <laughs> now, you know, today, shot, you know, you have chosen shot. to kill ya. <laughs> you know, this shit will to kill ya. So, Dice is up. What are you making? Um, yeah. whiskey. Okay. Boom. Salud. Salud. Boom. Mm. Ah. There it is. It is. Now, my man, my man Mitch is a rapper. That shit rolling, right? Oh, uh, you know, I, I have totally forgot to hit that one. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We, hold on. We, we can keep it going. We know we're just going to come in like that. Go ahead. There you go. I got you. I, I mean, I got you when you bring it in. All right. So no, I, I do want to say so. So Mitch, you was uh you you was born in Dallas yeah. and you was raised in Chicago, right? No, not Chicago. Uh, everybody thinks. No, 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 Illinois. Yeah, everybody thinks when you say Illinois. No, I mean, yeah, Chicago, yeah, yeah. But no, I mean, he was he he was raised in uh uh the three hundred nine. In three hundred nine. What yeah, what, yeah. what area is the three hundred nine? That's uh, it's Galesburg, Peoria, Quad Cities, uh, Bloomington. It's actually the whole area is bigger than Chicago. How far is uh 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 the area that you grew up in from Chicago? How far? It's about two and a half, three hours. It's right in the middle of Chicago and St. Louis, like three hours from both places. Right down, right on, right on. All right, so so uh, what what was it like for you growing up? You know what I'm saying, like, uh, sh- I mean. You already know the struggle is real, but uh, shit, we made it out. It was uh, me, my mom, and my brother and sister. Pops was a Rolling Stone, you know the story. But um, she was a teacher, and your mom was a teacher. Yeah, so she didn't. She ain't play about the education. My mom, my uh, grandma was a teacher too, so. Ah, so education yeah. running your family. Yeah, Did you go to college? Listen, bro, not me. I went to college, but I didn't. Okay. I, I'm a college dropout. So yeah. you have the name of uh, Russ Money Mitch One, right? Yeah, that's my Instagram. It's a it's a long story, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So so not me. So <laughs> therefore, that's why I'm asking you. How did you come up with that name? Uh, Rush. That's actually my grandpa's name, and I was named after him. His name is Rush Mitchell Berry, and my name is Mitchell Berry Gibson. And okay. You know, money, Mitch, because I know that, that, that money. You know. I mean, so, 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 therefore, I mean, that's why I'm asking, where did that money, Mitch, come from? But, I mean, did it come from, yo, paid it full? Like, that's me, bro. I mean, or were you doing what you was doing before that? I mean, like, like, give people a back. I mean, you're cool now. You understand what I'm saying? I yeah. mean, like, like, I mean, so everything you talk about right now, I mean, you're good. Can't nobody yeah. come, come confiscate you or lock you the fuck up for what the fuck you was doing. I mean, so that's what I'm saying. I mean, we're trying to find out who you are to let the people know who you are. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm asking these questions right Basically, he's trying to say, was you, was you, in the streets back in the day, was you hustling? Was you, you know yeah, what I'm I mean, life is exactly. a hustle. I stay, I still hustle to this day. It just depends on the type of hustle, you know? Exactly. Yeah. I, my hustle, I Give I us the reasoning why of that. Why, why I continue to hustle? No, no, your name. Oh, uh... The, just like I said, everybody is is Mitch. It's money, Mitch. It, I'm sure it did stem from paid in full, but I earned mine, you know. And a lot of motherfuckers, they growing up, they would call me Mitchell and Ness or Money Mitch. And you know, what did you sell? My hustle speaks for itself. The, I, the money Mitch. Stuck. I sell whatever they you need. You sold what? You know, well, I, um, I we um, coke. Uh, no, nah, I never, I never fuck with the coke. I never fuck with no, no hard drugs like that. I don't. Okay. That shit ruins lives, and I I'm not for that. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, so, like, you so we. I did my thing, you know. Nigga, I mean, <laughs> listen, I mean, I'm gonna tell you like this. I mean, I sold hundred pounds, hundred pounds of weed a week. 
Not me for my Jamaican niggas in Philly. Not me before the be before shit decided to go like not me sour. Not me. So that's why I'm giving you let you know. Not me. Shit is comfortable. Not me. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Not me. <laughs> this barbershop talk like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not me. You're not doing that shit right now. Not me. Obviously because you're here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not me. But at the same time, not me. We need to know your back history to understand your. Future history. I mean, you know what I mean? Not mean so not I mean, I mean, so therefore, I mean, these are the questions that I'm asking you. If you need cars, I'll get you a car. If you need puppies, I'll get you a dog. If you need a house, I'll get you a house. You need you need to get away, I'll get you away. You know, it's just whatever you need. He was the connect. What 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 actually made you He was the barbershop What made you do music? Um it's I mean, music, it's always been in me. Uh, back in the day, my mom made me do band. And I'm actually glad now that she did because I, I actually can read music and know what's actually going on. A lot of people what know what's going though? on. But uh, I played the trumpet and the baritone. All right. And uh, I taught myself how to play a couple songs on the piano a while ago, but... Yeah, it's, I mean, because I'm not because gonna sit like, up here and like, say like, I can play a symphony. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, because I was gonna like, like reading notes is like totally different than. Yeah, no, and and that's what I'm thankful for that I actually do know how to read the notes and yeah. write and follow music if I want to. Like, if I go to, if I went to an opera or an orchestra or something, I know how to follow along. I know what's going on. Yeah, and I can convert that into melodies. That I create. You know? Most people, not me. Most people, not me. Me personally, not me. I don't like. I look at a note. I'm like, nigga, is that shit is Afghanistan or is that shit fucking like that? I don't understand that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, but people who actually read notes, <clears throat> I mean, I, me personally, I think that shit is dope. You know what I mean? Because like my family comes from music. My dad, yeah. I mean, um, my, um, my grandfather played the. Um, um, the saxophone and my father. Oh, yeah. My grandpa did too. I mean, my father plays eleven instruments. Nice. And and um and me personally, I mean, I rap or whatever. But I mean, I never fucked around with the music and shit like that. I mean, so like for people to actually understand like um different instruments and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I find that shit intriguing. So a question. So so with understanding the music like that, do you actually produce yourself? Uh, no, I actually believe it or not, I just write. Um. I one of these days I'm gonna go ahead and just download the program and just start making my own beats. But I just honestly I just prefer to write. I've always written. What is what is so the, he's a rapper. Yeah. Now I mean so now I mean to let everybody know, you know now I mean he's a rapper. Um, give them. I'm an rap. artist. Give now I mean give give them <laughs> your give them your name as an artist. Rush um, Money Mitch. Rush Money Mitch. Um, give them your um social media. It's uh everything YouTube um. SoundCloud, IG is Rush Money Mitch One. It's all Rush Money Mitch. Follow me, holler at me, book me. I got you. So, all right. Uh, now you did bring some music for us to check out. I yeah. do want to get into the first track real quick. Uh, so go ahead and give us a little bit of background and bring it on in. Uh, this track is actually it's called Blow Your Mind. It's uh it's like my my weed smoking club song. Let me, uh, I'll play it back real quick. Let us know. Let me blow your mind. Get you so high, baby, baby, baby. Don't you wanna fly? Stimulate your mind. Have the time of your life. Just take one hit and I'll blow your mind. I'm just trying to get high. Don't you wanna be high? Hey, don't you wanna be high? It's just a little bit of life. Hey, don't you wanna be high? Hey, hey, hey. It's just a little bit of life. We ain't commit no crime. Get out of my way. Let me buy. I got my wings, just let me fly. I'm on cloud nine, and I, I, I ain't coming down no. I'm only coming up. I get to the money, roll another blunt, roll them two at a time. That's a double dutch. I'm a don sipping don. I need another cup. Blunts, bombs, papers, dab bowls and vapors. I'm a motherfucking stoner. You would think I was Jamaican, a running with the tailors. I'm a motherfucking smoker. I let her get high. I let her get high. That's why I do it all the time. Yeah. Look me in my eyes, strap in and enjoy the ride. Let me blow your mind. I could, I could 
get you so high, baby, 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 baby don't you wanna fly, stimulate your mind, have the time of your life, just take one hit and I'll blow your mind, I'm just trying to get blown, do you wanna roll, hey, get in my zone, don't make me smoke alone, hey, you know I got plenty, you know I'm not stingy, hey. take shots till we tipsy, smoke to the back empty, I've been boofing, been to the moon, twisting a few, I face one, she face me, then she give me some food, I'm on cruise, we just chilling, look up, that's me by the ceiling, I'm so high and I love this feeling, my nigga we winning, yeah, I'm so high man, I love this feeling, my nigga we winning, I love to get high, I let it get high, that's why I do it all the time, yeah. Look me in my eyes, strap in and enjoy the ride, let me blow your mind. I could, I could get you so high. Babe, baby, 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 don't you wanna fly? Stimulate your mind. Have the time of your life. Just take one hit and I'll blow your mind. I let it get high. That's let what's up. High. I love that shit. That's what's up. Hey, appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, hey. I so I do know that you are a weed smoker because you and I have smoked out before. And bro, this nigga you smoked know like that. three months <laughs> back to back to back to back. And this nigga kept playing me music and the shit was like lit. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what's, one of your, what's, what's your favorite uh, weed strain? <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna have to probably go with either Girl Scout cookies or Gorilla Glue. Ah, so you like the hybrid shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he, oh, he a hybrid nigga. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, Fuck don't get me wrong. Nigga. I, I, I love the OG. Oh, okay. I love the OG, but I be having nigga. shit to do. And OG, I don't get it done when I be smoking the OG during the day. Like, it's a wrap. Different right. people, you know what I mean? Different people got different agendas <laughs> during their day. So hey, that's what I, hey, I pulled up I'm here a barber, with the nigga, OG. You know what I mean? Don't, I get, like don't get it twisted. I pulled up here with the OG. That's yeah. what we was just blowing, but. Yeah. <laughs> that's, listen, for when, my uh, money, when I got my kids and shit, like, I got to, I can't be I mean, kids off the got? OG. I got two boys and two girls. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. You, you a busy ass yeah, nigga. How old are they? Uh, my two boys are both three, and my daughters are eight and about to be seven. Okay. So oh, twins, oh, oh. <laughs> twins. Oh, right. no, no, nigga. Well, they got a. He said, they, he, said, he said two boys, both three. That means they're twins. Are they twins? Uh, no. <laughs> Same exactly. daddy twin. I, I think there's a term that's called project no. twins. No, nigga, you know what I mean? They was born. Months apart. Yeah, they they two months apart. Okay, exactly. Know what I mean, know what I mean, don't Project assume twins. that nigga my nigga is a term called Project Twin. No, my know what I mean, me, yeah, I, I guess he, I'm that nigga did not say assuming. twins. I, he he said I got two twins. That nigga said I had <laughs> two kids <laughs> at the same part. Hey, he called it. <laughs> and nigga, got, nigga, that, hey, that nigga ciphered that shit out because I was like, all right, they got twins. So anyway, anyway, so um, are you a uh, are you a sports fan? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's your what's your favorite well, sport? Basketball. Basketball yeah. more than football. Yeah, yeah. Right, I love football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's your, right your team? My football team. You already know where I'm Bears. from. No, Dallas. Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. I had a feeling. Hey, uh, hey, don't hate us. Are you know? happy where y'all are this year right now? No, not at all. But, I mean, but um, you gotta be a little, little satisfied. I mean, like. well, yeah, we're not the worst team in the league or anywhere close to that. But but you yeah, want to go to Chicago? We should be. It just sucks because you like, want to go to Chicago. It, it just sucks because when <laughs> now our <laughs> offense ain't cracking, but when it was, our defense wasn't. But now our defense is cracking and our offense. Just y'all need to, like, I, mean, I, I don't understand y'all why need the offensive dance. line, bro. I mean, we like, had um, the best offensive line and, a year and, ago. And, and and y'all need a different quarterback because Dak only looks through one progression, and then after his one progression, he's going to you know. Well, that that has a lot run. to do with the line, like you said. I mean, it, them boys is coming fast, you know. And I I feel them. I ain't trying to get hit neither, but this is what you get paid to do. But like I said, when Dak first came in, we had the best offensive line in the league, so it was pretty Made cushioned out better. for him. You know, it was mm-hmm. like, okay, I got some time back here. But That's now y'all had man. Des Bryant. I mean, with a lot more. It, it, yeah, I mean, he's a threat at any time. Exactly. Long, I mean, that know, drives two more people back. And hey. we we don't have Witten anymore. 
you know, and it's fresh. Y'all, y'all got Amari Cooper now, though. How you feel about that movie? Nigga. I uh, beg your pardon. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> listen, the, he I mean, hasn't I, I, done much in the past. I, year I and feel a half. like we should have just kept Daz. Exactly. Yeah. Like, what well, regardless. Amari uh, Cooper is the same fucking receiver as, uh, as, as Des Bryant. Daz yeah, was but maybe already less in the so, system. Like, what do you mean, less headache? I mean, he, I mean to them, apparently, I, a headache. That's probably why they got rid of him, right? Uh, no. I don't know. I feel like there's other ways to handle that. Like, if you want to win championships, you have to deal with certain things. And players at this level have egos. You got to deal Man, with we, them. Listen, you created them. My team is them. doing yeah. awesome right now. You know, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. However, I'm still disgruntled. I'm still disgruntled. <laughs> we ain't asking about, about Marcus Peters. You know what I'm saying? Because Marcus Peters was a solid part of our defense. You know what I'm saying? So um, we are looking excellent. I'm still not gonna start talking Super Bowl yet because we don't have a long uh, uh, we don't have a, a defense that I can quite. You have to be any quality defense, but I would say we got us a quarterback. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'll say. Y'all haven't beat any any. any uh, Nigga, we beat everybody. The only your, team we haven't beat was who's was, your squad? Who me? Yeah, I'm the, Bears. the Cubs. Oh, okay, that's my second squad. I yeah. rock with the Bears. Now, I mean, now, I mean, these niggas, now, I mean, Kansas City Chiefs, they haven't beat a good defensive team. Nigga, but we beat good teams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, it's we not the easy team. in the AFC. Nigga, what? Hey, he don't know. Listen, we done beat everybody except the Patriots, and we should have really won that game. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah, a close. It was I'm a sure, nail-biter. I'm Same sure here. the Patriots Same found a way to Same cheat. here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, hey. Right now, we 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 looking good. Patrick Mahomes is on pace to be probably the MVP of this year. You know what I'm saying? Easily, hands Until down. Until the playoffs. The nigga, the nigga has thrown 25, 26 touchdowns now. No, he hasn't. Mm. 26. No, he's not. Yes, he has. No, it's not. They was, they was just saying today, he is, <laughs> he, he's now reached 25 touchdowns. Until passes. the playoffs. He's, t- he's now reached 25 touchdown passes faster than anybody else in the NFL. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Hey, I, I was watching the Chiefs earlier. I got it. They... Phenomenal. They rocking right now. Hey, you know, they, they, them niggas ain't played no them. defense yet. He's he hating it. Hey, hey we, they we might sat, not. We sat, we sacked what's they, name five times today. They off. We, we got, got play next week. We, we got, got an interception. We had five sacks. You know what I'm saying? So who I y'all mean, got next week? They did all right. You who know what I'm saying? We get home. For who the y'all got next week? They play like listen. They play their best defense at home. Uh, who do y'all ne- have next week? Uh, next week we got the Browns. We in Cleveland playing the Browns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what? I mean they don't make the schedule. And then after that, know? don't worry about it. Yeah, after that, we, <laughs> after that we face the Rams. They get in Mexico City. What? Exactly. Ooh. And we gonna handle them, nigga. Y'all might beat them. Did the Rams lose today? They was losing when I left. When I left, they it won. Was, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. They it came was, back. Wow. It was ten zero when I left. Yeah, it was ten eight when I left. Oh, so well, well, they came back. They won a good what job, bro. Damn, what I want scoring? them niggas to lose one. Yeah, actually, I don't. Actually, I don't want them to lose until they play us, so we can get them their first L, so they can. 29-27. Twenty nine twenty seven. Wow, are you yeah. serious? Them guys is they, them guys is amazing, man. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. basketball, who's who's your squad? Uh, I rock with the. I, honestly, I rock with the. I rock with the Mavericks, but I can't give them too much of my energy right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I like the Celtics, and believe it or not, you know I rock with LeBron. So I'm, you know, Rocking I, I want to see Lakers. the. Yeah, I want to see yeah, the hey, Lakers listen, do good. You know? I, I haven't always been. A That's this nigga. <laughs> That's a nigga. Now, I mean, he, he he doesn't have a team, but he has players that he likes. Yeah, my favorite player is Russell. So ultimately, don't get me wrong, I want to see OKC. I love Russell Westbrook. He's probably one of my favorite point guards in the league. However, Russell is not going to win a championship until he learns <laughs> to trust his teammates. Yeah, and yeah that's I agree. just facts. You know what I'm saying? He he works hard, but he's got to learn that you don't have to do it all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn when to rely on your help that you got out there. And when he learns that, man, he might get him a chance. Well, I, I feel like him and Paul George are still getting that chemistry down. Man, they had a whole know, year. With Melo in the mix, though. We yeah. already know he, he kind of taints everything ever since he left yeah. Denver. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that, man. I, I like Melo. Oh, but. no, I love Carmelo, but he ain't been doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. So, uh, so, so the Lakers, what you think about the Lakers this year? Uh, man, I mean, they'll go to the playoffs, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, hard. I mean, I, it's hard. It's hard out west. They, they, they make the it, it is hard out west, and they ain't finna show them no mercy. Like, I, I really feel like they need some help. Like, but 
I feel like Anthony Davis. I feel like I was just gonna. I swear, I swear to God, I was just gonna say, hey, I feel like AD is gonna come out here next year. Mm -hmm. Somebody, I think is. he might come before the end of the year because mm -hmm. uh, they. I mean, they're gonna want something for him. If not, he's just gonna walk away and ain't gonna get shit. So. It's over on I Tuesday. Think, I think they really gonna trade it. What? Trades are over on Tuesday. Nigga, Tuesday for the NFL. We talking basketball. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I'm like, nigga, season just started. Damn, yeah, nigga can't trade after fucking week three, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I, I honestly think, like, uh, if that happens, I think they're going to trade him out here before the uh, end of the year. But I'm going to tell you like this. I've been telling everybody since the beginning, and you can say I'm crazy or not, I think they are going to the finals. You know what I'm saying? So The like this year? Yeah, I think they're going this year. Listen, I, I mean, if they if they get AD, it's like especially this. with no trades. LeBron, LeBron has proven it so many times. He just has to not go in order for me to believe it. That's, I think they might go to the Western Conference Finals. No, I no, they gonna yeah, go. Yeah, because I unless unless the Rockets get Jimmy Butler, uh, I think the Lakers can get past them. It won't be easy, but I feel like LeBron can. I think I think I think Houston. I hope Houston will probably not because I don't think it'll line up like that. I was about to say I hope Houston knocks out Golden State and then we can play. Uh, Houston in, in the West Coast. But see, finals, the thing is... They'll be it's, one and two, so it, I doubt if it'll the, work out It's like Golden that. State, man. That's your, It's LeBron. He's literally living Space Jam, too. But, I mean, right but now. I mean, like, I mean <laughs> on, on, on another note, you have a mixtape called Guilty by Proven Innocent. Guilty Till Proven Innocent. Guilty yeah. Till Proven Innocent. Yeah. Um, where, did that, where did that come from? I mean, ha, ha, have you been like... Um, what are those people that I mean that was like actually hustling or were you locked up to actually be able to Yeah, like, I I mean don't get me wrong, I I ain't never been to the joint, amen. But amen uh, to that. you know, I've been in the county and that, that ain't no fun. They oh, yeah. they snatched the nigga out of court and just mm -hmm. threw me in jail, didn't tell me when I was getting out. I was just sitting there till my sentencing day, which was like sixty five days mm -hmm. away, and I didn't know what they was gonna sentence. Me, you know, I did like it could have been they might let me out. So you know, I mean, you're might sitting in jail years. stressing the whole time. Like, yeah, you know like, <laughs> like it's one thing when you know when you're getting out, but mm -hmm. when you're sitting in, in in the county and it's 27 hour lockdown, and you don't have like I didn't have no bond. They 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 had revoked my bond. I'd already bonded out. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was. So is, is, that, is, that, is that where the title for the mixtape came from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guilty yeah. till proven innocent. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, they say you're innocent till proven guilty, then why am I in jail? You know? So, right. And, that, that's real shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> hey, man, that's real shit, I'm telling you. But thank God they proved you innocent. Yeah, already, well, right? and, and yeah, thank God the judge honestly looked out for me, man. Uh, God bless him, um, because the state's attorney was trying to. If if it was up to the state's attorney, I'd still be locked up right now. Wow, what was the charge? If your mommy asked, uh, one of the charges. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Uh, there was a detective that was on my ass, mm. and he just he couldn't do it. He was Boy, harassing me. He had got my brother in a jam. My brother had got me on the phone with dude. I start cussing dude out. Out here. No, this is back in Illinois. This is back in Illinois. Okay. And uh, next thing I know, I'm going. I'm about to pull up to the crib, get ready to go watch the the final four games and shit. Like six cop cars pull up on me. Like I'm like, what's going on? They're like, are you Mitchell Gibson? I'm like, yeah. You're under arrest for phone harassment to an officer. And woo oh, woo. Boy. And then, and I had uh, I had like an ounce on me, an ounce of weed. You know, just personal. And it wasn't even that. It was like twenty grams. Boy, they told they told the judge I had thirty to five hundred grams on top of they made it 30 seem to 500. like five hundred. That's a big ass gap. Yeah, yeah. And they, they made it seem like I, <laughs> I, I was that, um, I, I don't like, like I was threatening this bring out like I was threatening this detective. And in reality, you know, I was just cussing them out. And mm -hmm. that I have every right to do that, especially if you're harassing me. And luckily the judge yeah. looked at the case. Later on, and he was like, you know, um, it didn't sound like he threatened you. You know, he might have said he was fucking your wife or fuck you, you know, but he didn't threaten you or anyone else. So when you sign up for this job, there's a certain there's certain shit you just have to deal with and tolerate. Yeah, and, and that's one of them. And it, it seems like you keep going after this man and missing. And there's only so much 
one can take, you know. And he I, I, he he let me out. He gave me my bond back. My bond was ten thousand. It was a hundred thousand, ten thousand to get out. Mm -hmm. He gave me my bond back after my fines, and and they let me go that day, you know. But, but yeah. <laughs> thank thank God. Yeah, man. thank God. At the same time, too. Now I mean, it's like they can't fuck with you like that. I mean, ultimately, they can do what they want to do, yeah. you know, uh, and and it just and I mean, no. you can get out of it, but, but it's gonna take time. You. But yeah. they, not I mean, but they don't want you because not I mean with your previous record with the you know I mean with the force, it's like then you are like yo, I know my rights. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, but when it came down to it, like I said, all, all that when they took me out of jail, this was like a year after all the the arrest and all that shit. And oh, shit. I got into bullshit with my with my kids' mothers and we all know how that shit can go. Uh that you tell them an inch and they gonna run a mile with it. Right. And and all that was just around the same time and the judge was like he didn't he hadn't done too much research into it then. So he was like, oh you're out on this bond and that bond they throw it sitting in jail. How do you feel you about know? um how do you feel about Kanye West? Uh, at first, I was like, this dude is an idiot. What is he doing? Is it all for attention? Why? You have people who follow you. You have millions of followers regardless. But I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to, like, take the hard way around. It, it, you know, and it, it's hard on us, but and it's hard on him, too. But he's sacrificing himself in order to try to get things done. That's what I'm hoping. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. As in far as what? Of, no, I mean, get as it, far get as him when he the... um, when he went to Trump, he asked about correcting the education systems in Illinois, which are mm -hmm. shit, as well as other parts of other country, right. urban areas. Um, he asked about health care. He asked to free Larry Hoover, which yeah. is I uh, oh so necessary in Chicago. I mean, I don't know how well they will follow him, but. I mean, I don't it know can't they're gonna hurt. do that. Like, I mean, it can't hurt. Like, I feel like they need leadership there, and why not go back to one of the creators? You know. Okay, so like he didn't, he wasn't. Do you think them young niggas would listen to the? To their I head? mean, I'm not gonna say they're. The, Probably not, man. Uh, not all of them, these but niggas, I feel like I, it, 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 they are, and and a, a lot of it has to do with the drugs, man. It's bad, and and I feel like Chicago is so bad because it's the third largest city, but it's not connected to nobody in water, like L. A., Houston, New York. It's all right there on the coast, so they get everything fresh off the boat. Chicago gets everything taxed. Everything that, that we get in Illinois has hit the hands of someone else who made some more money off of it. It's too many people and not enough money. Okay. And, and it's I mean, yeah. <laughs> It's coming through a lake, you know what I mean? Not an ocean. No, I, I mean. But a lake no. don't get no shipments in. Yeah, I mean they could they could bring overseas. them down they could bring them down through that, about. but they still have to go through customs to get through Canada. That costs money. You know, like right. the you're just I mean, not gonna listen, get it fresh I mean, off the boat. The way the way I feel about Kanye is is that I feel that if he doesn't have an alternate agenda in this whole situation, then I'm gonna label him as crazy. But right now, my thing is, okay, he has a, a beautiful wife. Now I mean that everybody loves on social media, right? Right. Okay. Donald Trump loves beautiful women, right? We okay. All do. <laughs> I mean, so therefore, they sleep together at night, every night. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got, I mean, they're married. Okay, so here you go. Why don't you go over there, play this nigga the fuck out, go over there, act like you like him, show yourself off. I mean, play the all black shit, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then as you're playing that, I mean, why don't you ask to get such and such out? She gets the black chick out, right? Pardon. Okay. Now, I mean, now, you know, they're sitting there and he's like, okay, we got to get this, this black dude out. Why don't you go back and talk to Trump again, sweeten him up, <laughs> you know, get this dude out. She went in there. She went to go do that. But then before he could pardon him, now, I mean, he goes in there and he's speaking all this Larry Hoover dumb shit and Larry Hoover done kill people. Now, I mean, had had people killed. I mean, Chicago was like, I mean, a drug situation. I mean, I know that he tried to show, I mean, love to certain situations, I mean, in the community and shit like that. But after he'd already 
did we have to do? Now, I mean, but my point is, is that he's using his wife to get Donald Trump to free these people. Now, I mean, so if Kanye West isn't using his wife or using his power to talk to Donald Trump, you know what I mean, to act like he's a fucking Republican to free these black people, and then after he's out of after he's out of office. If Trump, now I mean, if Don, if Kanye West don't come back and be like, now I mean, fuck Trump. Now I mean, I was only using that nigga. Now I mean, to get my niggas the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? If he don't do that shit, then I'm leaving this nigga as crazy. You I know mean, what I mean, well, we got about at, at least two more, possibly six more years to find out his ultimate agenda with Trump. <laughs> but uh, if that, hopefully that is. But if it is, he's not gonna tell us. He can't tell us. Of course he can't. Because then that's now I mean, ruin. Now I mean, there was somebody. Um, Shit, um, nineteen fourteen. I mean, there was somebody that that used the president. I mean, for his alternate agenda to to make things happen, and he ended up becoming president because he played him the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, what Kanye West ain't becoming nobody. I'm not president. saying no, 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 no. Listen, I'm not Maybe saying. Kanye, I mean, I'm Kanye. not saying. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. I'm not saying Kanye is becoming president. But what I'm saying is he's using the president. We got you. Just, I mean, just like Korea, um, Russia, and China is using him. I mean, and telling him certain things. I mean, yeah. to to make certain things happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? To do to to to, to make manipulate other the happen. power. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm saying. You know I mean, Trump is a dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, uh, I wanted to get into another one of your songs real quick. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So if you got something up there you want to bring up, yeah. go ahead, bring it in, and uh, give a little introduction to it. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people the name of it, uh, if they can find it anywhere, if it's out yet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, this one actually, uh, it's called "Fuck with Me." It's on my YouTube. Uh, we got a video out. It's featuring Montana at 300. Oh, uh, so oh, yeah. check it out. Fuck with me. Fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me. Fuck with me, fuck with me, yeah. Yeah, it's way you come when you want me. Yeah, 
Straight out the mud to the luxury. Yeah. We ball way hard in the IT. We suck for free. We tap the beat. Cause we have to leave. Come on, fuck with me. Yeah. This way you come when you want me. Yeah. Straight out the mud to the luxury. Yeah. We ball way hard in the IT. We suck for free. We tap the beat. Cause we have to leave. Come on, fuck with me. I be like, fuck, fuck you don't fuck with me. Like inside the bank, I am sucker free. Ready for the day that they come for me. Just like G.I. Joe, you're the gun with me. These bitches hoping, wanna get chosen. That pussy dripping is soaking. It's wet like an ocean, my pocket swollen. Hockey ring, my flow the coldest. They know that I'm balling, I got the hoes. They ain't in my lane, we ain't bowling. Been down to my swag, I got in the stash. They calling me Hollywood Hogan. I'm so AV out the surf. I made a million off merch. Pockets full of blue faces, no smurf. From the bottom, I came from the dirt. I got shit rolling, no perk. I saw my clients that work. They bought that cash out like a clerk. Green and blue, what they spend like the earth. Wedding bands on me, I got my cake up. Married to Monet, we won't break up. It's my time, haters watch like a Jacob. Put a clip to your top, ain't no shape up. I mean, yeah. This way you come when you want me. Yeah. Straight out the mud to the luxury. Yeah. We bought way harder than I did. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> with me. Hey, that shit hot, bro. Hey, appreciate it, yo. That, that is that is that one of the songs that's coming out uh, as a single next month? Uh, yeah, yeah. It'll. I, I think I'm gonna just drop an EP, honestly. And, okay. uh But yeah, this is gonna be one of the songs on there. That's what's up. I remember um, that was one of the songs that you played for me that time we was chilling. Yeah, car. yeah. And I fucks with it. Yeah, I fuck with it. So, um, is it gonna be on like all platforms? Like, yeah, it's uh, gonna be on all platforms. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud. Uh, it's on YouTube. What's the name of it? I mean, for the people who... who the song who, who, is who, who, called... It's, it's Rush Money Mitch featuring Montana 300. Fuck with me. F-W-M. Fuck with me. All right. Okay, uh, quick question, though. Okay, so um, with, with the changes in today's music industry, you know what I'm saying, where independent rappers are or can flourish as well as some of the mainstream rappers, mm -hmm. um, you personally, would you rather stay independent or are you looking to actually sign with the major record company? I mean, it just depends. Like, I might, if, if the record labels, if and when they do contact me, if they talking good numbers, if they talking about keeping me off the shelf and, and, and in the mix, then let's get it because it's a lot less stress on me and I can just focus on the music as opposed to the hustle and everything else, the grind and, and everything else that comes behind trying to get your music out, just out there. They are there. It's out there. You get paid. Just keep making good music. But okay, it, so um, have have um, the people that you're dealing with because the industry right now um, and the whole way that uh, social media is going. Have they came at you and say, okay, um, you gotta get your followers up because because I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of people in the industry that don't want to actually deal with people that they gotta build up. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I agree. And I mean, yeah, it's it 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 sucks and it's cool because it, it's easy access, but at the same time, a lot of people don't want to follow you until you're already there, you mm -hmm. know? And so you just gotta get out there and show them like I'm on my way. You can you can catch the wave with me or you can Yeah. Be, um, you know, um the a thing, I mean, the thing, the thing that I tell a lot of people because um, a lot of rappers come into the barbershop between Trey and I, <clears throat> and Takashi Six Nine, this dude. <laughs> so I mean, so basically, what he did, I mean, he basically trolled the, he he basically trolled Europe. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, so he went over there, making it seem like he was like you know like this big time U.S. rapper. Yeah, and he built up a big following, you know, overseas, not, not even like, like between Europe, Asia, you know, and like, um, you know, places like, yeah, uh, I follow uh, him, I mean, Australia, I mean, Australia, shit like that. Now, I mean, so he built his, he, he built his fan base up and his following. So by the time he came back to the U S he already had a big following. And then that's when he, you know, started to do things like that. I mean, so I mean, what I'm saying is, I mean, have you thought about, you know, like like going overseas to like build your name up? As I mean, well? yeah, I'd love to, but it's it's easier said than done. It's hard enough to try to um, book venues and shows here because of rap music. You know, yeah. people don't want to be bothered with yeah. that. How am I supposed to do it five thousand miles away 
when you know right. I mean it if I had a lane to if I had any any outlet any type of lane to get into that you know, you're damn right I'm in it I'm with it you know yeah. because they they love American music over there they do and and they'll support you they'll support you like no other they uh, never overseas. know you know what I mean they never know what's the next and, thing's gonna pop yeah you know I, I, mean? I would so. love to go overseas if I if I had the option I'll go overseas for the rest of my life and, I think you should go overseas and, and never come back to America I think you know what I mean vacation, you, you know? I think you need to get up with your management and um Start building up a uh, um uh, um a European uh or or Asian uh fan base and setting up uh some type of you know shows. I mean to yeah. actually have your fans say, come. I was gonna say honestly, like I, I think a lot of these little th- these younger rappers or a lot of independent rappers, most of them. Um, That's the way shit like, happens. Like like they doing, but they doing a lot of shit to endanger themselves. You know what I'm saying? To, gain this, as, to yeah. gain this popularity, niggas popping up in niggas' hoods and this, huh? that, and the other. Like like yeah. nigga, like are you willing to are you willing to do yeah, shit no, like I'm that? A, like because to, to me not, that shit is like it's suicidal. Like I'm yeah. not out here trying to troll you, you know I mean? like, or, like, like, or like, start no problems, but I mean I'm I not I'm, I'm not backing down from anybody. I haven't but, seen that. Yeah, Takashi. Yeah, he. That nigga pop up in niggas' hoods. Like, just a lot of these niggas is doing shit like that. Nigga popping up on on niggas' blocks, popping up on niggas' sets. They were popping shit. You know what I'm I'm, saying? Not after they have names, though. I mean, after they have names. I mean, but I mean, before they had that name. I'm just saying in general. A bullet don't got no name on it. Right. You talking about trolling? And I mean, in general, are are you willing to put your life out there on the line like that to risk getting famous on social media? No, I feel like I'm a pretty. uh, It's like well-rounded character. I feel like I'm pretty. I I can find other outlets, other ways to get into the industry other than taunting and trolling people. And and that's not a diss. Like, hey, get in, get in how you can because he's doing his damn thing and he is entertaining. You know, uh, <laughs> right. Takashi 6 9 is very entertaining. But I'm 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 good on that. Like I got enough drama going on. I'm not finna create drama with people who I'm we supposed to be getting money with. So do you consider yourself as as um a mainstream rapper or a backpack rapper. I mean, I don't consider myself either. I consider myself just an artist. I like that. I uh, because I'll rap. I can't sing, but I can harmonize. I know my octave. You know, I I know how sharp I can go, how flat I can go, and I don't go any further than that. And See, I like I like uh, like you're at that age group. Like you, like right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? You're in between them little mumble mouth niggas and you're in between the niggas that can spit. And I like the fact that you actually rap things that people can actually understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. The mumble mouth rap is, that shit is cool. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I don't understand the half the yeah. shit the motherfuckers are saying. I just bob to the music and listen to the whatever they, nah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Just chiming over. So um, I, I, I like that fact that I can actually understand what the fuck you actually saying. Yeah, appreciate it. You know that. what I'm saying? So <laughs> it, it's so And that that's big on that's big for me too. Like I always uh I I'm a big critic. My my biggest critic um when it comes to that. Like I, I don't want any words to stumble over like if I have to cut a word or cut a whole bar because it just didn't go then, right. then so be it. I'm not gonna try to squeeze it in there or Mumble some shit. Are you the, are you a fan of the mumble rappers? Hey, I respect. I was ask that. I I I respect them. They they go out. They get banging ass beats and and they do what they got to do on that on them joints. And I, you know you I like, listen to it. I'm not gonna sit up here and say I listen. You like to Migos, it every day. right? Yeah, yeah. I Nigga, I like Migos. Migos. Yeah, and like I said, they get banging beats. Some some of their songs is hits, you know, and some of them it it. Doesn't seem like they're how you feel about the um all, but, how you feel hey. about uh, 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 Quavo's album. I I was looking forward to it and I I've only listened to it like one one time really you know that's because he he, he didn't have no like no out of eighteen on he ain't had no banger bangers yeah I I agree with that I agree with that he had he had he some had some good listen, songs listen joints yeah you know what I'm saying but no banger bangers and that's what I was looking for. You know, I'm more looking off to uh, Takeoff's album. I feel like Takeoff, I, Offset's gonna come with some heat too, but I feel like Takeoff is gonna shock everybody. I like Takeoff out just, of the whole group. Yeah, they just treat him like me he's, personally. 
do a little loud, live on bad booty, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no bad booty. How you live on bad booty? Yeah, bad booty. Yeah, man, yeah, bad booty. I, I mean, only one I know is Takeoff. I mean, I mean, only one I know is Quavo. I, don't, I just, I know the other two niggas' names, but I don't know who's. They're all related, though. Now, I mean, they're all family, yeah. like, now, I mean, by blood. Takeoff, like, Takeoff has a, I think he goes, ultimately, he's probably going to go the hardest. But right now. Offset it. Offset's killing it. He's got Cardi. Offset, I mean, it's, and it's if you only listen because to him, Cardi. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. He, the Migos and just him doing a separate thing, he'd be able to do it. Don't get me wrong, Cardi helps, but just like he helps Cardi. I think you, know, I, I, they, I, you got, and that that's a plus. You can't knock that. Like, I mean, shit. me. If you got me, someone to help bounce energy and feed off me, that. Then I mean, go me, with it. me personally you? being a hood nigga, I like, I like Takeoff because he speaks more hood shit. Yeah. Know what I mean? And that's the reason why I like him. You know, know what I mean? So, like, other people might like different people for, you know, different other things, know what I mean? But for me personally, I like him because, know what I mean, he speak a lot of hood shit, and I, I, I can understand his melodies. Yeah. I, I feel like they don't put pressure on takeoff, so he's just, like, chill, you know? If, if yeah. you had to... bad and bougie. <laughs> if you had to choose a, a, a favorite rapper in today's era... Like mm. the young guys, you know what I'm saying? Who who do you say is your favorite? Uh, I right now I rock, I'm rocking with Money Bag Yo. Um, I I think money he's bag, a, uh, Money Bag Yo. I, I don't even know, know who uh, that is. Whatever. That lets you know how old I am. <laughs> money Bag <laughs> Yo, Money Bag Yo. I mean everybody. Yeah, he's signed with different. Gotti, and he he from Memphis, but he you got to check him out, man. He he's killing the game right now. I opened up for him in St. Louis, and. Mm-hmm. He he brought the whole city out. Like the venue was like it was a two thousand people venue, but he sold it out. Like line wrapped around the corner, it was crazy. You say money bag, yo? I'm looking at this nigga right yeah. now. Up oh, there, you go. Money bag, yo. Right first nigga that popped up. Yeah. As soon as I put in money, first first guy that popped up. Wow. All right. So I'm gonna go check him but out. But I, I like uh, I like little baby too. too I, I rock with little baby. I think he's he's doing his thing. He's killing it right now. All right. And okay, so I, oh, I, oh, oh. Now, I mean, I want to know who's your top five artists all time. Yeah, all time. All, all time. Now, I mean, okay, Trey, break it down to him. Now, I mean, if you was trapped on an island, okay, yeah. All right, so if you was trapped on an island and you had to choose five artists to listen to for hip hop, it could be anything. Anything. You only got five artists that you can choose from these five artists. You can choose all of their. All of their catalogs and everything, I'm but you only got the, five artists for the rest to of your for. life. Rest on, of your life on this island. All right, for one, of course, I got to go with Michael Jackson. Okay. Uh, two, Boys to Men. Wow. That's, um, that's not three. Time. I'm gonna take it old school and um, what is it? Uh, can uh, that's the Jackson Five, not them. Um, but you know that goes with Michael Jackson. But um. <laughs> Who else? Um, Wouldn't take Prince. I mean, Prince was awesome, but I, I, I didn't really listen to too much of his music growing up. You know, um, Prince is better than Mike. I, I mean, you can't force Prince. Oh, uh, I mean, as an overall artist, yeah, because he played all the instruments, he wrote all his own songs, yeah, definitely. But like, like hits, I, I gotta go with Mike. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but um. Uh, All right, so we got, a, we got Mike. We got who, who was the second one? Boys to Men. Boys to Men. Um, Ti is my favorite rapper of all time, so I gotta throw Ti up there. Um, who else would I go with? Two uh, more. Uh, who? Uh, Any more? Oh, new, new edition. New, new edition. edition. Oh, new edition. And. You gotta live with this shit, I mean, for the rest of the Oh life. yeah, and they got hits, you know. So I, you no, know, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying they don't. And um, one more. What's gonna make you feel like you? Oh, T. I told you, Ti. Ti. All right, he's um, in there. You know, but I, I can't listen to too much rap. So listening to too much rap would drive me crazy on exactly. an island. On an you know? island by yourself. Man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You're like, nigga, That's I why can't, I got the I groups. It's different, bro. Right? Yeah. I can't be thuggies, <laughs> goddammit. it. Nah, man, and, uh, I'm worried about fucking. And, and last, um, I, I probably, I'll probably go with the female last just because I can't listen to niggas all day. But uh, <laughs> probably like Mariah Carey. Ooh. That's a good one. 
That's, yeah. that, that, that's, I mean, a, that's a nice spot. I would have chose. Nice I mean, I would have chose <laughs> Sade. Shot at it. Shot at it. That's a good selection. I, probably well, I, I feel you, but you got to think, Mariah, I, if I'm stuck on an island, I you got to think, like you Mariah, said, catalog. Yeah, you got a whole catalog. Nigga, I can listen <laughs> to it. Shot, 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 shot had like... I could listen to motherfucking Lover's Rock forever. I feel you. Shot they had like, like three albums that was like bangers. Yeah. Like, Nigga, Lover's Rock? But like like her... That was her, shit. her latest shit, like you know why he really listens to that. Well, like, I mean... I you, not not mean not good, you gotta go to motherfucking Guapole. If you want to hear new side act. <laughs> All right, so we about that. We got like 10 minutes left. All right, so I had a few more questions I wanted to, I wanted to go over with you. Uh, one of my questions was, if given the chance, how would you change the industry as it is today? Like, I mean, whatever, like, things, um, that, they, things that you may make go over in your mind and see, I, like, this is different. I wish I could do this or whatever. I just feel, I wish that they would uh, focus more on the music instead of the following like they used to. Like you, they would go in and yeah. and it didn't matter who you had behind you. If your song is trash, we're not playing it, right. you know? Yeah. And now your song could be trash, but if you got a million people that like that, they're gonna play it, yeah. you know? As opposed to someone whose song is, is excellent, it's great. They will get a million followers if only a million people could listen to it. You're absolutely you know? right, bro. And I just wish that they could go back to actually just sitting down listening to the music and knowing that, that this artist has a sound that we can take and and to the next level. Okay, I happen. mean, so my question is to that, is now, do you accept that that's, I mean, that's basically what the fuck it is. I mean, if you have no following, you're irrelevant. Yeah. I mean, social media is status. You know what I mean? Whether how good you are or how <laughs> bad you are. You know what I mean? So does that make you be like, okay, I got to step my social media game up because if I don't step my social media game up because, like, this is what's going on. If I don't step it up, ain't nobody going to know who the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Because it could be a corny-ass rapper. You know what I mean? And he has followings. Yeah. And he posts something. Next thing you know, he's the next big thing performing at a big venue. Well, I mean, it is what it is. I can't change the way the industry, what the industry has come to. I mean, hopefully I can once I get in there, but uh, right now I can't. You just got to roll with it. And What I'm asking you is, I mean, are you going to adapt to what to what the is is now? I mean, you have to. Yeah. You know, if you want to survive, you have to adapt. You got and I mean, there are other ways to get in. They're, they're next to impossible, but... If you know people... Uh, I just, like I said, I, I would prefer that the music speaks for itself because you can follow me on Instagram and I might not ever put one of my songs on Instagram, mm -hmm. you know, right. but because I have 2 million followers <laughs> on Instagram, you want to sign me? Right. Like, that? I, I don't need you to push my music if I have 2 million wow. followers. Yeah. I don't need you to push my music if I have 100,000 followers because out of those 100,000 followers, if I have... 10,000 who are loyal fans, they're going to make sure that I eat. They're going to follow me. They're going to buy my merchandise. They're going to download my music. They're going to stream my music, and they're going to make sure they have my shows. Because but that, they know love, I mean, you but, know? That, but that's the reason why people who own, like, you know, record labels or management companies and shit like that, that's the reason why they target people who have that many followers because they, they, they feel like they come in here and talk their way into their actual situation. And I mean, and it works, but they're missing out on a lot. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to it, you're missing out on a lot because you want to play it like it's an algorithm or something. This isn't, and it, there's no, music isn't an equation. Yeah. You know, it's they a frequency. They all about the money, man. They it's, like, well, follow, I mean, follow, follow, well, bring revenue. That's you know what I'm saying? Looking. I mean, music is not about an equation, but it is about an equation. Well, yeah, yeah. I to, mean, at the same the, time, I mean, I mean, like, like, to the business, you know, you know owners, what I mean, like, but, like, like, but when you're in you your have, car, I mean, you when you're have, in your car, bro, and you're and you're listening to mm -hmm. this song that you haven't heard since you were 14 years old, yeah. and it just takes you to your grandma's house when she was right. making baked macaroni and cheese, and it was grape Kool Aid, and all your little cousins was outside. That has nothing to do with the equation. Right. That, that but I mean, but that song stuck. That song sticks with you. It sticks with you. And, and that's mean, what I want. I, but, that's what I want to give to my fans. But your you know, grandkids, I'm gonna get money regardless. But your grandkids so, <laughs> looks at that song as an old ass song. Is not paying no attention to it. And that's fine because by the time my grandkids listen to it, it is gonna be an old ass song. 
It's already an old ass song. Is what I'm saying. What? Now, I mean, we're old, <laughs> nigga. Right. Now, I mean, but it's so, still around. Like it's. Now, I mean, still, like 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 Biggie. Biggie to new rappers. But look, these what I'm saying is these people who have these songs that are old as hell, that's fine because they were made a while ago. Right. Yeah. But they but because these record labels took the chance and researched it and listened to it and knew that they could make this happen mm -hmm. just because it's good music, yeah. it's gonna happen. Now they don't do that. And that's why a lot honestly, that's why a lot of these record labels aren't doing that good, I feel like. Oh, yeah. You going off followings. Half these followers are bought. That's why a lot you of know, people. Not me. That's why like, I, I got people in my inbox like you. Uh, you pay me this, I'll get you this many followers. Like what? They're not real. That, right. I mean, you that's know? why. That, that's why a lot yeah. of people is not you know doing a lot of independent shit and you know doing their own shows for their mixtapes and you know what I mean. You got contact Instagram. Uh, Dice the Barber. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. like, nigga, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, like a lot of people doing that right now because they, everybody want to be independent. Know what I mean, and I think independence, you know what I mean, plays a long part in the music industry right now as far as like the world that we're living in, as far as social media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because everybody can make their own money now. I feel rather, but I mean, at the same rather time. Than, rather than be depending on a record label, you know what I mean? Because record labels is still giving out 360 deals. I mean, yeah, you know I mean? that's like, it. But you don't like, have to serious, sign man? it. That's your that's No, your I option. understand like, it. Know <laughs> I mean, but so, not I mean, not I mean, just feel like you if, don't, if you I mean, get, you don't got to sign it, but at the same time, you're like, I'm not like, going to get no exposure if I, I take, don't. Um, I would take I would take a two or three album deal with the record label just because I, I got that done now. And that's nothing. Like, it, it, two, three albums, it's nothing. We'll get that done. I'll boost myself up. And then if they're not talking numbers, it's signing on, you know? Right. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sit up there and say I wouldn't love a record deal, but it's got to be the right deal, you know? Yeah. I'm not going to sell myself short. If you think I'm worth a million, if you're willing to pay me a million dollars, that means I'm worth more than that. Yep. You know? Yep. So, what up? You right. know? <laughs> so, you start with a million, like, right. what else you got? Yeah. I feel it. Keep All right. <laughs> so, we, we're getting short on time. So, I do want a uh, couple of other quick things. What's the Super Bowl prediction? What do you see in the Super Bowl? Man, I, I want to, I would, you know, I want to say, you know, I want to see the Cowboys. But we're going to step back into reality. We're going to step back into reality. But, uh, hey, I, I want to go with – I want to see L.A. I want to see the Rams in the Super Bowl. The, you I, know, and, and, I mean, the Rams, the, Rams, I, look, the Rams is nice, nigga. Like, like, if the Chiefs yeah. keep it up, it's going to be them. But man, if not the so. Chiefs, man, you we already know. It's like the Patriots are like the Warriors, you know. Patriots. like the, <laughs> uh, I agree with you. I, I, would, I would love to see a, a Kansas City – yeah, LA. That would, that would be wonderful. The Super Bears. Bowl. That would be wonderful. And that right. would be awesome too, but I, it ain't gonna happen. I wouldn't Fi convert. Finals prediction. The much Bears. Energy into that, you know. <laughs> what, what's your NBA finals prediction? Like, who do you see going to the finals? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Celtics and the Warriors. Ooh. <laughs> That's political. That's, I mean, I mean, they're both stacked. Choice. They're both stacked it, teams. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's a and good choice. It's, I'm gonna go with. You can't really bet against the Warriors right now. Especially I'm going to go with uh, Minnes. Uh, who, 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 what? Uh, uh, no, no, no. He's who, out of it. Who does uh, uh, Anthony Davis play for? The Pelicans. I'm going to go with the Pelicans in the, and finals? the Wizards. Oh my God! He just this nigga. Yeah, this nigga just wanted to go against the grain. What is it? A, is it a consolation tournament I, I or something? Is, I think it, it's is that, that what cheese. it was? Remember when, when you lose? Too much cheese. When you would lose the tournament and then you in the losers bracket <laughs> of it. Yeah, that that's where they gonna be. Exactly. Because <laughs> right. I don't ever see that happen. All right, so but the Wizards are good. Man, please. Stop. John Wall, they, they John Wall. Hey, everybody in the NBA is good. You don't make right. it to the NBA if you're not good. You're but absolutely not right about that. A, they're not a good franchise. Dwight right. Howard is not good. Oh, he's trash. Yeah. But he's right. big. So, man, I do want to thank you for coming through and hanging out with us, chopping it up with hey, us, I dropping us some of your music, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's been real. Tell the people one more time where they can find you on all your social media sites. You can find me on Instagram. It's Rush Money Mitch one Everything else is Rush Money Mitch. R U S H M O N E Y M I T C H. Rush Money Mitch. Rush Money Mitch. You got anything coming up soon that the people can go check out and look for you? Uh, yeah, I, I got an EP I'm putting out next month. 
And uh, I got two new videos I'm finna put out next month too. So stay tuned to my YouTube and everything else. All right, so follow the YouTube, man. It's crazy, not me, because I've seen you in the shop so many times and I didn't even know what the fuck, <laughs> not me, I didn't know. Niggas would come and get a haircut and shit, not me, for me, you know what I mean? Then Trey hit me up and then like I, I looked you up and I was like, yo, that's my nigga. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, we said we chopped it up uh, a few months ago, it was, and uh, we sat out there, like I said, that nigga, I smoked the blood. This nigga must have smoked like three blunts, nigga. I'm like four blunts, nigga, in like an hour, nigga. Like, we was just blazed. Like, you want to smoke another one? Yep, yep. He My just kept playing music. I'm like, yo, I'm like, this nigga shit is really lit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm a person. I heard it, bro. I, I, you know I mean, shit sounds good, man. good music. You know what I'm saying? So, because it's a lot of people out here doing music, but yeah. not all music is good music. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I appreciate you. And music, Trey used man. to do music himself. So yeah, so, like, oh, so. okay. Anyway, so uh, this has been another edition of Barbershop Talk, Talk like, like This. I'm your host, Trey the Barber. And this is your other host, Dice the Barber. And I'm Rush Money Mitch. Hey, I-